Hey there YouTube. So today we're going to talk real quick about my morning routine. So basically, I get up, I go and take a shower, and then I use this. The Suave Men 3-in-1 Citrus Rush. Now I really like this because even if you're kind of dirty from doing like mechanic work, so you've got like oily, um, you know, rusty, mud type stuff, whatever's on you, it does a pretty good job of getting you clean. Even compared to some of the cleaners that have like an abrasive in it that are more meant for like mechanics and stuff like that. And then I always use the Old Spice Sweat Defense. And then this is the, the soft solid one. And I really like the way the stronger swagger one smells, but that's just me. Then as far as beard stuff goes, I'll use the Grave Before Shave Bay Rum. And I like the Grave Before Shave oils, and they have a whole bunch of different scents, but that's like my wife's favorite scent. And then same thing with the Beard Balm. So I'll also use the Beard Balm, especially as the beard gets longer and starts to get out of control. And then I've been in the habit of using Q-tips just real quickly to clean my ears. Because as a mechanic, depending on where you had your head stuck the day before, you might have some weird stuff in your ears. Same thing like when you blow your nose. So if you were cutting a lot of breaks or you're dealing with a lot of dust and then you blow your nose and basically like black stuff's coming out, <laughs> the same kind of stuff is kind of settling in your ears. And then of course, toothpaste to make sure the teeth are doing good. I'll jump in the shower real quick and then I'll give you a quick run through of how I wanna put on the beard balm and the beard oil. Cause it's really something that I don't spend a whole lot of time in the morning getting ready. All right. So we're fresh out of the shower and basically all I've done is just dried the beard off just a little bit. It's still a little damp. Put on my deodorant, clean my ears out real quick. And then as you can tell, my beard's kind of growing and it's starting to enter a stage, which is kind of like a weird maintenance stage. So it's transitioning between having a short beard that doesn't matter where the hair goes to having a longer beard where you're going to get weird like curls here on the side or maybe on this side. And until the hair grows out a little bit, it won't have the weight it needs to drag itself down. So you're going to have those curls. But we'll address that in a later video where I'm actually going to want to go into a salon. And I don't know if they're going to let me shoot a video there or if it'll be me just getting tips from the salon person and seeing what they want to recommending. And then also my hair up here is getting a little bit long. Normally I cut this as soon as I can start pinching hair. It's time to cut. So it feels weird growing it out a little bit, but in about two weeks, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna go to the salon and make that video. So first up, beard oil. So for this length of beard, I normally do just one squirt. You can also get those in where it's in like a dropper. I'm gonna work it through the mustache, work it on the sides, work it underneath. And the goal is to kind of work it through the beard real fast. and get it as close to the skin as possible. Which sounds like almost an impossible task because you got all the hair in the way. But it's basically just working it really good all the way through and then you're pretty much done. That's it for the oil. Now the beard balm. I always scrape just the back of my, my thumbnail and you can see just a little bit see not a whole lot and it depends on the, how big your beard is now at this point I do need a little bit more than I would have when I cut it shorter before you run up your hands real fast and then this you're gonna spot apply it almost to just like the outside so any residual I'll put it just in the mustache real quick and then run my hands just on the outside because it'll help take care of the outliers and the things you want to shape in. So really, that's about it. I'm done. <laughs> that's normally about as far as I go. I can do weird stuff if I wanted to style it, but I don't. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. And then I do recommend doing it at the end of getting dressed, because if you want to throw a shirt on real quick,
it can change it a little bit. So where maybe where you had everything in place where you wanted it, now it just needs a quick retouch and done. So my morning beard routine, it's probably under a minute. Would have been faster if I didn't talk. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My beard routine is just super quick in the morning. And it's one of those things where I've got places to go, things to do. I don't want to be dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. So right now it's in, it's in April. And this is about when I'm going to make a big beard transition and trim it down. But having the curls over here is a moment of, well, I don't know. I don't know what I'll call that a target of opportunity <laughs> having the curls over here is a good target of opportunity because it allows me to do something and make a video about maybe how to get rid of those curls before I make a video of how I truly get rid of the curls <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video check you guys next time maybe wake up come on forward-facing camera you son of a bee. Wake up. And there's Elmer's craft glue because. <laughs>